So the, the pack is going to arrive in a plain coloured envelope with no markings on it. Best place to do a test is when you're in a comfortable position, when you're probably not going to be disturbed. It's also worth creating a clean, a clean environment in which to do the test. So I'm going to open the packet up and see what's inside. So inside, we've got an instruction leaflet. We have a request form. We have a return envelope. And we have a small bag containing the bits we need. Let's have a look what we've got. So we've got a mini tube in its own plastic container. We have some plasters. We have some sterile wipes. And we have some lancets. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wash my hands in hot soapy water um, to make sure everything's clean, but also to encourage the blood flow to my hands. So, come back, my hands are clean and they've been in hot water. I'm now going to set myself up ready to do the test. First of all, I'm going to take the special container, open it up and take the tube out. Now this container actually doubles, you turn it over and it doubles as a holder for the tube. So the tube is held within, within the container. Then you can screw the cap off and put it to the side. Now I find that if you shake your hand vigorously that draws the blood into your hand. I'm going to use my right hand for the lancet and I'm going to use my left hand to take the blood sample and I'm going to use either my fourth or third finger. So clean the area with the sterette. You then take the lancet and you screw the lid off. You take the lancet and it's important to push this very firmly against your finger. So to find the best place to do it is here's the tip of the finger between the nail and the pulp, just here. So you do that and you push hard. And what you'll see is a blood drop appearing. Now, you gently squeeze the finger so that the blood drips into the tube. So usually it takes about 10 droplets of blood to reach the 500 microliter line of the tube. But ideally, we'd like you to put as much blood into the tube as you can, as this gives us more volume to play with in the laboratory and to make sure that we get the test results that you need. If you need to, you can, you can um, prick your finger again, but most of the time you can do it with a single prick. So gently milking the finger to get the blood out of the tube. And you can see it's actually starting to come quite quickly now. And I've missed, I've missed the tube. So I'm over, I'm over the 500 microliters now. So I'm now, that'll do, that's enough for that tube. Now the tube already has um, this, our identification number pre-printed on it. So you put the tube back in the safety protective cover and you close it up. That will then go back in the envelope. I'm also going to get the request form and I'm going to write the date that the sample was taken on the request form. So you have your request form, you have your blood tube, put all of these items back into the envelope. Seal the envelope up. Discard any rubbish. This is now ready to go into the post box and I should receive my results in about a week's time. Thanks for watching. More information is available at our website.